Hey guys, till it to the top here, Matilda. So, I came here to, anyway, how's everybody doing? And thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, thanks a lot. So, last time I posted my the flowing that we did in our house and I promise that I will come back to you guys and give you the estimate for the flowing. So that's what I'm doing now. But first, there's something in my mind that I want to talk to you guys about. And I will talk about it. I'll make a, a whole video about it. But I just want to mention it here right now. It's about how houses in Ghana that are for sale, the cost of it and the dollars, how they're selling it for dollars and the cost of it. I mean, if they are selling in, in dollars, it's fine. I don't have a problem with it, with that. But my problem is the cost of how houses in Ghana are sold for. It bothers me too much. Because if, like I said, I'm going to make a, a video about it. If you are selling a house for a million dollars in Ghana, really? Some people can afford it. And it's fine. Like I said, it's fine. If they are selling it for a million dollars, it's fine. But my problem is, if you go to Rwanda, Kigali, a house that is for $65,000 or $70,000 is a million in Ghana. million dollars in Ghana. Kigali or Rwanda roads, the roads in Kigali or uh, Rwanda is way, the houses that they are selling, the, the neighborhood roads, even the roads in Kigali, Rwanda, most of them are way better than Ghana. And look at how much they are selling houses in Ghana. And I feel like Ghanaians, those who are selling the house, it doesn't even, they, all they look at is the house. That's all they look at. Okay? If you are selling, if you are a country, and you are selling houses or you are building houses, everything counts. The market, how far is the market? How far is the schools? How far is uh, your workplace? I mean, everything, every little thing count. But for some reason, the people who are buying and people who are selling don't even think about that. I don't know. I mean, people are buying. I, I know because Ghana, Ghana economy is booming. So it's, people are coming to Ghana, but... They, everybody, guys, you have to look into this. Look into how houses are jacked up in Ghana so much that, I mean, it's ridiculous. If you look at how construction, the, 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 the labor and the, the, the materials and everything else, why? Too much. That's these guys that the, the Americans they, they live in uh, Rwanda, and they, 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 their YouTube name is unapologetic or some unapologetic norms. They made a whole lot of videos about houses in Rwanda and so many places. 
Even Tanzania, I know that we cannot compare those countries to Ghana. But guys, look into it. You guys are buying houses in Ghana. Look into it because why is it that you're buying a house for a million dollars and the roads in the country are so bad? I mean, portals, big portals. I'm not bashing Ghana. You can leave any comment you want to leave. It's fine with me because this thing, that thing, I mean... I don't care. Leave your comment. But look into that. Why? Because you know why? Ghanaians, businessmen, those who do business in Ghana, everything that Ghanaians do want to make profit of times five or times six. If they said the economy is booming, that doesn't mean rip people off. About a week ago or so, two weeks ago, a champion family on YouTube are trying to rent a place and they cannot afford it. I mean, maybe they can afford it, but the way they were so frustrated because they, the neighborhood that they want to live is a nice neighborhood. And because it's a nice neighborhood, the, the rent and the houses are so expensive. It's like they have a different road. In Ghana, that Yaka, the, the, the car, those who live in that neighborhood is going to drive on. They have a different traffic. They have a different bank to go to. They have a different market to go to. Come on. Come on. This is too much. The profit margin of Ghanaian uh, business, I mean, those who build, the way they, they're making things, it's making everything expensive, expensive, expensive and it's not right. Anyway, I'm always thinking, and that's what I'm thinking this morning. So let's go. Let me give you the, what do you call it? Um, how my edit course for our flowing. Um, first of all, the flowing, somebody was asking me if the flowing is more money than the foundation yes it is and this is okay guys it. so i'm doing this uh the date is september 8th 2020 okay this is the date that um these materials were bought so i just want to give you date so that you know where the prices are so that if you are explaining and it's not like it's been a long time this is september 8th 2020 all right so uh, materials and labor for carpentry work this is for the flowing okay it's nineteen thousand five hundred iron rods twenty seven thousand eight hundred labor for the steel steel better it was four thousand okay and then the materials for the flowing which is the cement sun chippings um gravels everything was 23000 ghana city 23 ghana thousand ghana city the labor for the flooring you see the guys that are working around uh, the labor and the guys the guys money and the contractor the guy who is the like the foreman is 4,800 Ghana City. Okay? So, that's it. Uh, carpentry, work, labor, and the materials was 19,500. Iron rods, 27,800. Steel burner, 4,000 Ghana City. Um, everything is Ghana City. Everything that you, you hear me mention is Ghana City. Okay? Um, the flooring, which is cement, Iron rods, uh, no, cement, chippings, sand, um, whatever, some, uh, yeah, it's 23,000 Ghana CD. And labor for the guys who is doing the flooring is 4,800, including the, the foreman money, which is the contractor. Okay, and this is the breakdown that I want. Cement is... Um, 9,500 Ghana city and one per one cement is 38 Ghana city still 38 Ghana city 
okay um machine that the rent to mix the cement and the sand to do the the flowing uh for two days is 500 Ghana cd so that means 250 a day um they bought pipes and caps teas vents eight pieces of 16 mm iron rods everything was 1108 Ghana CD. The band, I don't know what it is, B E N D, and the T's, T E E, I don't know what it is, but um, I don't know what it is. That means I can't explain it. I just know that that's the name of it. So it's um, 1108 Ghana CD. Actually, the eight pieces of 16 mm of um, iron rods is 400 Ghana CD. All right, remember that. And the transportation for everything that we bought is 300 Ghana CD. We bought water for 500 Ghana CD. So in total and everything, um, in when they check turn into dollars, we spent $14,356, $14,356, okay, guys. So that this is it, and that's how much it costs. If you look at how much we spent for the foundation and the flooring, it's almost the same, but I think it's like two thousand dollars difference. So, guys, thank you for watching um, this video, and please, 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 please subscribe, okay? Because um, a lot of people are watching. You guys are watching, but you are not subscribing subscribe and hit notification bell and give me thumbs up so that uh, my channel can grow okay thank you so much and i will try my best to uh, bring you more information about bidding in ghana and i'm working on it i'm working hard for you guys so subscribe okay because we have to change the narrative that if you are about, uh, building in ghana and so they just quote you any price they want because they know you're on abroad. And when you go to Ghana, you spend like two weeks or a month and you turn around and come back. So it's like every, it, it takes forever to finish your house or, or whatever. So like I said, if you find somebody that you trust, give them a, a gift, buy them gas, and they will do anything and everything for you, especially if they, are, um, they have a good heart and they want you to uh, do good in life so thank you for watching um my video subscribe and i'll come back to you guys um as time goes on whatever we do again right thanks bye thank you